music star BOJ was lucky to have gained mainstream attention within his first year of joining the Nigerian music industry. Today on Spotlight, the singer tells us how his music identity was formed and how his styles have evolved over years. It is nearer, the future is brighter, like no Laid back, chilled and different is how London-born Mighty Skid Bodge describes his music. Raised on sounds that were way beyond his age, the young star who joined the music industry in 2012 believes limiting his exposure to other types of music keeps his style authentic. The funniest thing about this all is I was never someone that listened to music regularly. I'm still not someone that listens to music regularly, but um, I guess when I was younger, um, I used to hang around with my mom a lot. I was the only child for nine years, so um, basically I just used to listen to what she used to listen to. She used to listen to a lot of Lauryn Hill, um, Fela, Lagbaja, um, Wyclef, all those kind of people, Shaggy, all those kind of people. So I think over time that resonated in my mind and that is where the influences come from because I genuinely don't listen to music like that, but I enjoy making music. I love making music. His formal introduction to the industry in 2013 took people by storm, with his singles and collaborations getting massive airplay. With two other acts, Fresh Shell and Teezy, they formed a movement, DRB, and took a large share of the teenage fan base in the country. <laughs> yeah, man. So, you know, some people ask me, like, but... Yeah. That was the year when people heard about me properly. Um, I dropped a song called um, BOTM, Budge on the Microphone. And that same year, um, Phil Alright with SDC came out and um, Omar Pastor with Ajebota came out. So I think that's the year when a lot of people heard about me. And then in 2014, I went on to win the Hedges for um, Best Alternative Song. So I think all that was just like, okay, this is Bosch. That was the introduction. I don't want to give you trouble. The movement may still exist, but the rave died a long time ago. The frenzy that heralded every DRB performance soon fizzled away. So basically, um, what I think it was was because we had a very young fan base, okay? So we had, um, we used to do a show every year, actually, every December. We did about four. Um, with young people from secondary schools and from all over the place, uh, but they were all young. So what I believe happened was that people grew up, basically. People grew up and just like everything, you have to move on. So I, for instance, decided that, you know what, I'm not just going to be making music just for these people. I want to cut across. Do you get what I mean? So that's exactly what I did and that's what my focus is. So you might say there will be lost um, momentum, but I don't think Bodge as a brand did because I kept on evolving. Although the brand Bodge continues to thrive, there have been challenges. Following a move back to Lagos in 2015, the youngster has been compelled to find support for his craft as he was unable to meet the high demand for music production and release, which currently typifies the market. Um, when I came back, I was all about this whole independent thing, I'm going to try and... But man, the industry is not what it looks like from the outside, do you get what I mean? So um, after a while, I had to decide that, you know what, I have to sign to record label. So last year, I decided that, you know what, I'm going to go with this record label, HF Music. And um, yeah, they have like, they're very structured and everything. So that's where I am right now. I'm uh, putting out videos. Like before, like before last year, I couldn't put out videos consistently. And people used to complain, do you understand? Because I got to a stage where I needed to move to the next level. And I was just stuck. 
you get what I mean? So um, I feel like me signing with this label has just propelled me to the next level. Videos coming out, songs coming out regularly. So yeah, that's where we are right now. Some of his recent works include For Sure featuring Simi. Um, I'm about to drop an EP. You understand? So this is what I'm talking about. Things are just rolling now. Things are happening. Did you get? Uh, so yeah, I'm about to drop an EP um, in July. It's going to be called Magic. Um, it's actually a double EP because it has 11 songs. Um, yeah, so that's where we are. It has features, amazing features. I have um, IOG on it. I have Files on it. I have Banky W. I have Shay Shay. Um, I have a couple of people, man. It's amazing. It's an amazing piece of work, man. I'm very excited about it. The EP, which is set for release this July, follows his debut mixtape, which was released in 2013.